A carer is anyone who is looking after somebody else. This is very often unpaid, as family members or friends find themselves having to take care of a loved one. For Dunya Jones, her husband's cancer diagnosis turned her world upside down. I left my job to, to look after my husband, to, be, to spend more time with him, because he was all day on his own with the treatments, which, you know, there were, he had a rough time. So he had to leave his job as well. The doctor signed him off. So I had to give up my job. My, my life changed. My life just upside down. Everything changes, everything. Uh, financially, most of it. Financially, um, nutrition, friends, family. It's a very lonely place. It's a very lonely place. What were some of the things that you struggled with the most during that difficult period? Uh, at first, when I left my job and he had to leave his job, was financially, yes. Financially, we had to look after our pennies and I couldn't afford many things which I did before when we used to work. So it, it does change your life. It, it turns your life upside down. It's not clear how many people in Gibraltar are carers. It is, uh, you know, an unpaid vocation and a lot of people just do it as part of their normally day-to-day. -day. Then, no, but every patient, surely, has a carer out there. Cancer Relief is reaching out to the community to hear about the issues they face. Well, I think a lot of it is probably isolation um, or the fact that they're just feeling, you know, they're needing advice, they're needing some extra information on something. Just the loneliness that that can kind of ensue on people if they haven't got enough information. And where can they reach out to who can support them? I think big issues sometimes are for people financially, especially if they have to work and they are looking after a loved one at home or whether they're backwards and forwards to hospital. In Dunia's case, Cancer Relief has provided a lot of support, but she feels more could be done. I felt I had to struggle a bit and, and fight for what I needed them to help me with. I needed to, you know, I mean, him at the time in his job, like I said, he, he didn't get a pension, there wasn't a pension in place, so he left his job with nothing. So I had to go to the social services, we had to go to meetings and fight for it actually. And we had to go in front of board of directors, of doctors. Um, but it is like a struggle, you, you, like, you have to fight for it. It's not easy, you know, nothing is easy.